Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing a new dragon slash cyber hobby figure for you. And I'm really excited because it's been a while since I've been able to pick up a new dragon figure. So I finally got a new one and this is from their Saving Private Ryan line that came out back in 2011. And this is the fourth one that I've been able to get a hold of. This is Private First Class Cappy who is based off of Vin Diesel's character from the movie and I've got to say this one is really impressive now I do have some critiques but overall he looks fantastic as far as detail goes so let's jump right in and take a look at this box so these boxes are really nice I like the gold um, background and the colors are cool like on the US Ranger I like that orange it really pops and he's second Ranger Battalion France 1944 and there's a picture of Cappy and there's a side picture and another cool pose and then here's the back with pictures of his gear great looking boots his helmet his M1 Garand and then the head sculpt, which honestly I think is the most impressive part of this figure. And then there's also this little description of the figure. All right, let me take the slip off. Here's a cool picture of all the figures here. They're silhouettes anyway. So I've got four now. I still need Richie and then Captain Mill, both of which are pretty hard to get a hold of. But if we open this up, you can see the packaging, which looks really cool. I like the black uh, packaging a lot with the gold. It looks good. Um, got an extra hand sculpt there. And then there's his sling, which unfortunately broke off. That's one of my critiques, but I'll, I'll get into that a little later. So, all right, that's the box. Let me bring out the figure now. All right, guys, here he is. So he's very impressive, super realistic. And honestly, I think of the four that I have, I think he's the most impressive so far, just in terms of detail, and especially likeness to Vin Diesel. They did a great job on this head sculpt. All right, well, for starters, let's take a look at his weapon, which is the M1 Garand, and this is where um, I have some some big complaints with this figure, and I think you can probably already see what the problem is here. So let me put the figure down. Let's take a look at this. So he comes with this uh, protective covering for the M1 Garand, and right off the bat, you can tell that it's way too short for the actual rifle, which really pissed me off, I'm not gonna lie, because on the box, you can see um, it's a lot longer than that and they even got some nice detailing on the box with some mud at the bottom but here there's it's really short there's no dirt or mud like they advertised and then also on the box they have it advertised as actual ropes tying this together but instead what you get here are rubber bands which um, yeah I was not happy about this cover I, I feel like they really got lazy with this and did not do a good job so that's that's my main uh, critique of this figure and just uh, be forewarned if you get him that I mean maybe this is just for the one I got but most likely it's for all of them I think they really dropped the ball with this but um, anyway moving on from that complaint let me take off this cover so just give me a second. I'm 
Mike Connolly is another great figure that comes with a very nice M1 Garand with the the protective covering. And they did a great job with that one. But this one, they just, as you can see, it's way too short for the rifle, which is pretty disappointing, especially considering the price you pay for these figures. But the M1 Grand itself is very nice. The wood looks really good on it. Okay, obviously you can pull this back and put a cartridge in if you want. And then um, we come to my next complaint, which was the sling. So I tried putting the sling on the rifle and these little holes are too small for the pegs. So I was able to get this one in, but the one over here is way too small and tight and it ended up breaking the sling, which once again, I was pretty upset about. So um, yeah, there's some, definitely some quality issues going on with this rifle, but I guess it's not too hard to replace it. Maybe I'll do that at some point. So anyway, um, let me put it in his hands for you. And I'm gonna swap out this hand here. The hand sculpts are really nice on these newer dragon figures. A lot less likely to break and um, just look a lot more realistic. All right, so here he is holding the Elmo Grand. Oh, that looks really good. All right, let's take a look at the helmet and the head sculpt. So this helmet is plastic, but it looks really good on the figure and it's it fits very nicely too. It's not too big and it's not too small. It fits just right on his head, which I really appreciate. And then the head sculpt, like I said earlier, is one of my favorite parts about this figure because it looks so realistic and it they really captured um, Vin Diesel the actor it looks just like him and you can see they even got some veins sculpted onto his forehead very realistic and even on his neck there's some like different skin color in here almost looks like some bruises um, yeah it's very very nice got the stubble on his face his hair looks really really good all right as for equipment he comes with a good amount of stuff here he's got his gas mask um, pouch here it doesn't come with an actual gas mask but that looks really good on the figure and then um, we've got Um, the the um, belt here I forget what this is called exactly but it's for the inflatable belt something like that life belt or something and then we've got his cartridge belt here with they give you six cartridges for the M1 Garand so I've got all those in there got his first aid pouch and then a canteen in the back All right, he comes with a haversack. And then got his entrenching tool tucked away here. Now, unfortunately, um, the metal piece there that's meant to hook on broke. So I just had to tuck it underneath of this pouch, but I think that works pretty well. And that looks good. All right, there's also this um, this sleeve that you put on. And let me see what this was called again. It's called a, a gas detecting uh, brazard. 
So this is interesting. Let me take that off and we can see the Rangers patch and then his private patch there and also one for this arm as well. And let me take the gas mask bag off. And you know what, I'm gonna take this off too. All right, and you can get a better look at his coat and his shirt underneath. All right, and then lastly, we've got his trousers, his boots, and the leggings, which you do have to put on yourself. Always a pain to do, but it looks good once you get those on there. Um, but I wanna point out that these boots are very nice. Great detailing on here. Look at all the mud splashed onto here. Looks really good. All right, guys. Well, I think that's everything to show for this figure. So I did have some complaints with him, the rifle, uh, the sling on the rifle breaking, and then obviously the protective cover. Well, um, not great. But other than that, this is a really good figure. Um, looks just like Vin Diesel and his character from the movie. And detail-wise, um, I think he looks fantastic. Now, if you want to get this figure, he is pretty rare. I paid a lot of money for him. It was like $170. Um, that was the only one I could find, so I just went for it. Um, so these Cyber Hobby Saving Private Ryan figures are pretty expensive nowadays but um, he is really nice so I would recommend getting him all right guys thanks for watching I'll see you next time